For those of you who have an indoor space that you would like to, to heat up so you can hit some golf balls in the winter time, this video is for you. Five holes to go, just play 13. Need to palm away in, gotta hit more greens. So today I'm gonna do a video that's a little bit different than my normal videos. I've got a garage here that's about, about 600 square feet. Uh, I used to heat it up with some, I used to heat it up with a couple of these portable buddy heaters, which are pretty nice heaters, but they're only good for about 225 square feet. So I will put two of them on and, it, and after about oh, 45, 30, 45 minutes, it would, would get tolerable and it would bring the, the temperature up. Uh, I wish I wrote it down, but I don't know exactly how how fast it took. Um, but two of them did the job. Well, anyway, uh, I was in Menards, ran across this Mr. Heater 35,000 BTU heater that actually heats up to 800 square feet. Uh, what was different about this one actually is this is a portable propane forced air heater but it also is indoor and outdoor safe. Now they make sure to put on there with, make sure you have adequate ventilation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm gonna crack my garage door a little bit. I've got a 20 pound tank and I'm going to kind of see how long it takes to heat this space up. And let me check out what the temperature is. I don't know if you can see that. Right now it's 30 degrees in here, which is pretty much about normal when it gets this cold. I think it's probably about eight to 10 degrees outside right now. So it's 30 degrees in here. It's about five o'clock, so the sun is already set. We're gonna hook this bad boy up, unbox it, and we'll see what it, see how long it takes to get the temperature up. See you in a few. It's an hour later and uh, probably have a little trouble hearing me right now because I'm pretty much down by this heater Just you can take a look at it uh, it's going pretty hard and it's pretty it's pretty loud you know the objective for me is to actually get this thing this place warm and uh, then turn it off so I've had it on for about an hour and Temperature's up to 43. Uh, it was actually down, when I actually started, it was down to 27 degrees in here. Uh, so, went up 16 degrees in, uh, in an hour. And uh, this would definitely be, be more than warm enough for me to, to hit balls in here right now. Uh, I'd probably, once it got up to probably 37, 38 degrees, I'd probably turn it off kind of warm up as you go along hitting balls too. Okay, I want to give you my thoughts on the Mr. Heater Forced Air Propane Heater, 35,000 BTUs. First thing I'll say, first couple things I'll say actually, is the most important thing is probably to have a uh, CO2 detector and adequate ventilation. I have this carbon monoxide detector here. Make sure you test it. I tested it a few minutes ago. Don't want to do that again because it'll blow out your eardrums. But make sure you have a CO2 detector. Uh, some people can't smell CO2, so if you're one of those people, you could be in a world of hurt if you don't smell it and don't have a detector uh, and you're running any type of propane into your house. Even though you have adequate ventilation, you still want to have that, that CO2 detector. The other thing I'll say, you want to keep the heater as far as possible away from, from the actual propane. Uh, the way I do it, I actually have the propane tank outside the garage covered and I have the hose going from under the garage door because I got the garage door open for ventilation and airflow. So I have the hose under and have the heater as far away from that propane as possible. Uh, and again, that propane tank is covered just to prevent any type of 
freak accident happening, uh, any spark, anything, just to keep it away from that open flame. So those are the two, I think, the two most important things um, regarding safety. You know, so besides that, my thoughts on the unit, it was easy to set up, easy to hook up, easy to get started. Uh, if I can do it, anybody can do it. You know, the instructions are, are pretty self-explanatory. So you shouldn't have any problems getting this thing started and keeping it, keeping it started. But just make sure you follow the instructions because there is, you know, you want to have the blower going, you want to have the, you want to open up the propane tank slowly uh, before you actually actually ignite it um, so um, so just follow the the instructions in in sequence uh, again another another safety precaution but for the space i think i found it pretty adequate you know i think it like i said it heated up 16 degrees in about an hour if it wasn't so cold if it wasn't 27 degrees in there and it was, you know, say 30 or 35 degrees, it probably would have heated it up even faster. Again, my goal is to get that thing heated up, get that garage heated up in 30, 40 minutes, and then turn it off. Because once I get going hitting balls, you get warm, and you know, if you're, if you're warmed up, you can hit balls in a garage that's probably 30 degrees, no problem. But I'll heat it up to 38, 40 degrees, turn it off, start hitting some balls and, uh, and be, be on my way there. For the price, I think it was about $120. The other thing you have to factor into that price is the cost of propane. Propane tank I got, I got it at Walmart, 20 pound tank, it was about 16 or $17. And they say you can run it for about 16 hours on a 20 pound tank. I haven't tested that out yet, so I'm not really, sh I can't really confirm or deny that. but it's early February now. I'm going to be in the garage more because it's time to start getting ready for this upcoming golf season. Probably first golf tournament I play in will probably be sometime in March. So it's time to sharpen up my skills. So I will be using it and uh, we'll see how long that tank lasts. But if you have any questions, any comments, leave them down in the, in the comments section. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, if you have any ideas for content you'd like me to do, leave them down in the comments section and we'll, we'll get, it, uh, get it going. I had some ideas uh, from someone I did a video on, uh, a couple different golf balls. I did a video on the cut golf ball and I did a video on the um, ES Gold golf ball. And I have a subscriber that talked about the his favorite balls, the chrome soft soccer ball, golf balls. So I got a video that I'm going to do coming up shortly on that. And also I'm going to do some videos on some less expensive golf balls. So again, like, comment, subscribe. Mr. Short Hitter, out. My game's obscene now. Hooks and big fades. It's not my day now. Why did I play now? Just